going on? Josh here with Second City Kicks doing another sneaker unboxing slash review slash whatever you guys want to call it. That is up to you. But I am going to do an unboxing again once again because this is part of a consortium release and it is a different box. So, um, But it is the same box as the Ultra Boost Mid. But if you haven't seen that video, I will show you this one anyway. So here is the box for the Adidas Energy Boost sneaker exchange with the Packer and Soul Box collaboration. So there is the box, guys. As you guys can see, this is kind of like that neoprene material again. We have that Adidas logo on top, the sneaker exchange in the middle, and the consortium on the consortium handshake on the bottom. Or if you flip it upside down, then you have and everything is just obviously reversed. Um, but it does have the Adidas logo on the one side of the box. Nothing, or I'm sorry, the top of the box. You have that consortium handshake once again, and then you have this sizing label. There is a sizing label, guys. Um, I would recommend going up half a size minimum. That's just my opinion. Again, everybody I, I know everybody has different feet, but I would recommend going up half a size in these because these do run a little snug. And it could just be because of the, the, the ATR tape and the fact that the insole is so thick, which I will show you guys. But let's get on to the actual shoe here, guys. And just like the Ultra Boost Mid, there are um, a few differences on each shoe, and I will show you those. So here it is, guys, the Adidas Energy Boost. Sneaker Exchange, Solbach, and Packer collaboration. Very, very clean looking shoe. And I, I'm i trying to do my best to get the colors that I can show you with that blue. I mean, because gray is gray, but that blue seriously, seriously pops. Very clean looking, and I am very happy to have these in my collection. Now, I will do a quick rundown of the shoe, and I will try to do as, as best as I can to point out every every instance on the shoe that where the collaboration is kind of coincides with the with the Ultra Boost Mid, which is this one right here. So, as we get on to the toe here, guys, um, the toe box is primarily gray, and it kind of gradients up into the blue, or the sea foam, or the teal, whatever you want to call it. I know it's kind of looking a little, a little, a little, I guess, I guess you'd call it North Carolina bluish, but it is a teal, more of like a, closer to a greenish, greenish blue than it, than it is actually baby blue or sky blue. Um, we do have that that ATR tape once again around the toe, and that is kind of see-through. I don't know if that's, there you go. And now, as you guys can see, it kind of shows right through. And then we have more ATR tape right up around this area, right around here, and it goes all the way across and up on the toe. I'm not sure what that is for. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's for support, what that is for, but um, it is there. Just be forewarned on that. As we go up to the tongue area, as you guys can see, we get as close as I possibly can. We have that, that silver line, which does represent the tectonic plates of the ocean. And then we have the Packer logo right there with the Consortium hole punch. And on the opposite shoe, I'll just show you guys real quick. I'm going to tie these for you so nothing's in the way. We have that Soul Box logo on this one with the Consortium hole punch. Now, that's only two differences of, the, of these shoes. I know most Ultra Boosts are the same when it comes to 3.0s and 2.0s where they both have the... Um, the Ultra Boost logo here, and then obviously it mirrors the other side. But because these are a, a collaboration, they did decide to put both names on here. And I'll show you show you the Packers one first. There is the Packers one, guys. As you guys can see, the three stripes branding on the cage, and then you have the longitude and latitude of where Packers is located. And this cage, or I'm sorry, this heel cup kind of goes all the way around, but the cage and the heel cup are all kind of one piece, which is something different. Again, this is my first pair of energy boost so um that's the first time i've seen that where the, where the cage and the heel are kind of all one piece now we have that that teal or blue again once again with that silver line going up the back again that represents the tectonic plates once again and as we spin around again that heel cup and that cage come come together once again and there's nothing very special on this side but again on the other side you have that longitude and latitude of packer and then on this one you have the longitude and latitude of soul box as you guys can see there. So there's that. Now, the insoles on these are very, very thick. I will show you this one. You have the Adidas and Soulbox logo on, on the right shoe, and then you have the Adidas and Packers on the left shoe, okay? Now, the, the one thing that could possibly be throwing the size of these off, or maybe all energy boosts run tight, in my opinion, because this is my first pair, so I really can't speak on it, is the thickness of this of this outsole or this insole, guys. It is super thick, and as you guys can see, as I'll turn to the side there, it is very thick, much thicker than an Ultra Boost. 
uh, insole. Now, this kind of reminds me of the 9317 where you're kind of standing on the boost, but there is a, a thin piece of material, and I don't know what the material is, but it's all stitched in there, so as you guys can see. So it's not like an Ultra Boost where you're standing directly on the boost with that little piece of felt in between. Um, it's not like that, so just be forewarned. Again, I would recommend going up half a size minimum uh, just, just to be safe. I mean, if the worst case scenario is, is you could pull the insole out, it does feel okay on feet. I have pulled the insole out once already just to see how they fit. Um, but the, the sizing isn't the width or the heel, which, again, these shoes do fit like they, they, they kind of swallow your feet and as i showed you on that insole the insole is kind of deep so maybe that's why i kind of have that feeling but in the toe area it, it's kind of tight and i don't know if that's because there isn't very much give because the toe area itself as you guys can see there is not ultra boost where they you know like where it's like this where the ultra boost goes all the way to the toe it's kind of like a, a eva or uh, whatever whatever this is made out of it's, it's a foam for sure. It's not solid But that could be the reason why it feels tighter on the toe, you know where the ultra boost would be able to give a little bit more uh, I don't know but uh, The laces themselves are 3m and I don't know if it's gonna it's probably not gonna show up on camera But they are they do have 3m hits in them and then obviously you have the white and red aglets here which represent the buoys in the ocean and Then they also do come with a second pair of laces in a gray color with the 3m mixed in there as well now, the one thing that's kind of not, not concerning me, but kind of, I don't know, I have, I have a question about it because it's just weird. The bottoms, okay, as you guys can see, we have primarily gray bottom, and then we have that teal that mixes in there. Let me get these laces out of the way for you guys. Now, these did come with a Continental Branding um, tag on the actual shoe, so... I don't see any continental branding on here. I could be totally just missing it, but I'm gonna do a quick rundown of the, of the sole, and if you guys can see it, let me know. I don't see it, unless it's like kind of like hidden in the boost, or maybe. It does come with the torsion system, just like the Ultra Boost. Um, and then you have that giant brick of boost in the back, and then it, it says Adi wear on the back, which is, I'm assuming means Adidas wear. But, you know, every other shoe I've ever seen that has a continental branding, has a continental branding right on the toe or on, on the outsole, on the toe area. This does not have that at all. So, yeah. But, all in all, I do like the shoe. I think if if this shoe, the Adidas Ultra Boost Mid, was this color, I think this would have been probably one of the, the, the number one selling Ultra Boost Mids this year. But they decided to put on the Energy Boost, and I do like the Energy Boost. I had to get both of them because I had the one, I had to get the other one, that just that's just how I am. Uh, but I do like this shoe. I do like the color. I do like the the comfort. It's not as comfortable as an Ultra Boost 3.0 in my opinion. But again, they're brand new, so it's, it, and it's a totally new shoe to me. I've never had an Energy Boost, as I mentioned before, so that could change over time. I, I could find these more comfortable than the Ultra Boost. Uh, so any questions, comments, concerns, guys, about this shoe right here, the, the Adidas Energy Boost Sneaker Exchange Soul Box and Packer collaboration, leave those down in the comments below. These didn't sell out as well as these didn't sell out. So, I mean, if you're looking to resell, this is probably not the shoe for you. Um, you know, if you're going to resell shoes, I would stick to Yeezys, uh, you know, Pharrell's, which I don't even want to get into that because that was a joke. Uh, it's, it's, and, you know, I would stick to stuff like that. I mean, as far as collaborations go, sometimes, you know, like, you know, when you get the Kith, stuff like that, obviously Kith has a big following. You know, I don't know about Sneaker and Soulbox, but... Um, I will start following them for sure. Just, I mean, just due to these shoes right here, these shoes are absolutely sick. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, as far as resale goes, I mean, you could probably hold off. I mean, unless you're like a big size, I know a lot of those sizes do sell out pretty quick. But, uh, I would not recommend buying these to resell. If you're going to buy them, buy them to keep. Uh, as far as resale goes, it's, it's just right around, hovering right around, uh, right around retail at this point. So, it probably won't be worth it. Uh, but yeah, again... Any questions, comments, concerns about the Adidas Energy Boost uh, Sneaker Exchange Soul Box and Pack, or leave those down in the comments below. As you guys do know, uh, that are that are subscribers, I do answer about 99% of my uh, questions with answers, um, even if it's just you know to ask questions about them not selling out or why why that may be. And again, I think they didn't sell out just due to the fact that there is so much stuff coming out this this month um, with Christmas coming up and Black Friday coming up. So that's my opinion on it. Um, or maybe just people don't like the shoes, but I think. I think these are going to be 
a sleeper and I, I i actually think you know considering it's not an ultra boost it is an energy boost i think these are going to be a sleeper as well i think people down the line a couple months from now are going to be like oh man those shoes are awesome but again that's my opinion because i do like the color so um stay tuned for an on foot guys and uh if you did enjoy the content and you did enjoy the video and you did enjoy the shoes and you did enjoy me Please hit that subscribe, please hit that like button. As you guys know, I did break a thousand. I'm moving up a little bit slow, you know, a little bit faster than I was before. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that comes to you and check out the channel. So uh, again, hit that subscribe and like button if you did enjoy the content, if you enjoyed the video, the shoes, me, you know. I shouldn't have to repeat myself, but I just did. So stay tuned for on foot guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the Air Jordan 11 in the Navy and Columbia Blue uh, high top, which just released yesterday uh it did sit so kind of surprising for an air jordan 11 to sit but i will be doing a review on those tomorrow so again stay tuned for the on foot of the energy boost and i will see you guys tomorrow